Welcome to a book obsession. I'm Ashley Gunn. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day. This should hopefully make it a little better. So today I'm going to do a review on one of my favorite romance series of all time. I mean like to me this is what all other romance novels should be based off of. It's just so incredible. This is going to be Claudia Connors McKinley Brothers series. If you've not read it, I cannot stress how amazing this series is. You will absolutely love it. And on top of the fact that I was already going to write a review about this, I just found out because of Claudia Connors' Instagram that there is another book coming out. It'll be able to be pre-ordered October 11th or um, actually arrive January 10th. I'm really excited about that too. If um, you guys love romance, love drama, that type of stuff, this is going to be for you. I'm going to have another series coming up that'll be fantasy because I'm trying to keep it a little even. So Matt and Abby will be our first characters. You're going to meet them on the beach. Abby's there with her four children. Plus, she's pregnant. Her husband passed away six months before. And then you have Matt, who's a Navy SEAL, and he's on vacation with his cousin. They just happen to meet on the beach. Jack, her son, throws off a bond, smacks Matt in the back, and that's really how the whole thing gets started. Then you're going to follow their vacation. So for a week, they spend time together. And it really surprises Matt in a lot of ways because, first of all, he doesn't realize that her husband's passed away until probably the second day. I mean, he knows that Jack's father passed away, but it takes him a little bit to make sure that there's no man in her life. Does that make sense? Anyways, then Abby, it takes a little while for her to really get on board with the idea of another man in her life. Her marriage wasn't the best, and I think that in a lot of ways, she feels like she has her kids. She has a lot going on in her life, and maybe an, a guy right now isn't the best idea. So after their week-long vacation, they don't live in the same place, so they have to decide whether or not to have a long-distance relationship. And then there's just the everyday kind of things. Like I said, Matt's a Navy SEAL, so that means that when he gets deployed, he's going to be gone for a little bit of time. He's not going to be able to communicate, and then there is danger. And then at the same time, with Abby's situation, she has four kids. She is pregnant. That's a lot to put on her plate. And you don't want your kids getting close to somebody if that person's not going to be in their lives for a long time. So, anyways, that's really what the story's going to be about. There's lots of ups and downs, and there's just an incredible thing that happens at the end that I'm not going to tell you guys about because you're going to read it. It's just, it's a very, very well-written book, and she does this baby talk for the little kids that is just adorable. It's the best thing I've ever read. I don't think I've ever read kids written as well as Claudia Connor does. All right, so then on to the second book. That's going to be Stephen and Hannah's story. Hannah runs a therapy ranch. So children who just had amputations will go to her therapy ranch, and she actually uses horses to build up their muscles so that they accept their prosthetic legs a little better and stuff like that, or arms or whatever it might be. She's just an incredible woman. She's had a dark past, lots has happened to her. More has happened in her life than should ever happen to anybody, but unfortunately that is her past. And so really, this in a lot of ways is how she deals with it. Helping other people helps her kind of move on from everything that's happened to her. She has an incredible family that's around her. So the story as itself goes that she got the ranch through a promissory note. And so Stephen's company, because he's a real estate mogul, is attempting to take away the ranch. And then after Stephen gets to know Hannah and know the ranch and know uh, what she does and appreciate it, then he actually switches teams and starts trying to help her save the ranch. And it's just, it's a beautiful story. I really, really liked it. More than anything, I think that this story has... It's a darker story, but it's just, it's really well written. And in a lot of ways, I think that Stephen and Hannah help each other. The, in a way that nobody else could. Does that make sense? Okay. So then the last story is just beyond adorable. I can't wait to find out what the next one is going to be about because just every book that she's written so far I've absolutely loved. So the last book is going to be JT <laughs> and Paige's story and this is just a really cute story too. JT has a crush on Paige and goes to her work regularly where she's a waitress and one time when he goes in there he meets her daughter Casey. Well, Casey and JT happen to have the same amputation on their leg. I think that that's part of why in book two, Stephen takes such an interest in Hannah's therapy is because his brother JT has, a, has an amputated leg. So Paige and Casey are at the, at the diner and JT comes in and notices Casey and they start talking. More than anything, Paige is having a difficult time because Casey's refusing to wear her leg like she's supposed to be and she's constantly complaining about it, taking it off, refusing to wear those types of things. And it bothers Paige, not because she's trying to be rude, but because her daughter's supposed to be starting school and it's important that she keeps her prosthetic on while she's at school. So JT actually owns a company that develops new technology and improvements for prosthetics. He invites Casey down to where he works, where he is going to look at her leg and see if maybe there's something he can do. Maybe it's not fitting correctly or rubbing weird, that type of stuff. 
through the book, JT and Casey form this bond that I really don't think Paige could form with Casey, only because JT knows what it feels like to have the prosthetic leg. It's just an absolutely adorable story. I mean, I'm not telling you everything because I want you to read it and experience it the same way I did, but it's just an absolutely wonderful story. All of the books are just incredible stories. If the world was completely full of people that Claudia Connor wrote, it would be an amazing world. That's all I'm saying. If you like this review, like it. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions, go and put that in the comments section. If you want to get my videos every week, then subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you all again soon. Thank you so much for joining me.